So I'm going to show you in real time how I painted this picture. Stick around to the end and I'm going to go through and criticize the things that I wish I did differently and that I don't like about this picture. And if you like this kind of video, why not do one of these?
I really like um, how this one turned out. So a couple of things I did wrong on this one here. When I was planning this one, I wanted to do a couple of different shades of red through these sections here. A couple of problems around the edges of the stencil where I didn't angle the can straight down, um, I think to get around the props and things I had. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy with the way the skull turned out. This is four layers um, for for the Punisher himself and one stencil for the skull. So I went from white to black, so white, light grey, dark grey and black. And I really like that effect rather than going from dark to light. I think that's it's a bit more forgiving with the overspray and gives it a grittier look. 
um, which is what I really wanted with this piece and with my work in general. So when I did the Punisher himself, the stencil was actually quite difficult. When I was cutting the stencil, I had to glue some parts back together. Um, this section down here is actually a pile of dead bodies that he's sitting uh, on top of. You can, um, you can barely make out a face in it there, but um, it was just too intricate, I think, to, to see that they were bodies and hands and faces. A couple of other things that happened. I got white overspray up in this corner and up on this edge as well. I didn't um, cover the overlap when I was laying the stencils on well enough. Um, because I offset the image, it, it, you know, I originally designed it to go central, but I thought it looked nicer uh, since he's facing this direction for it to be off to the side. So I ended up doing a purple line down here to try and cover where I'd oversprayed. And then I went ahead and I flicked um, some two different shades of red, uh, like blood splatter over this one. Really happy with that effect and how that turned out. And when I'd finished, I noticed that his hand, he just sort of like he was in a huh position or something a bit strange. And I think in the original comic book drawing, he was throwing some bullet casings up in the air. So I went ahead afterwards and, and added those in with some orange and yellow paint. The overall effect on this one is great. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video or if you've got any ideas of what you'd like to see me paint in the future, leave a comment down below. I really enjoy the feedback. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to see you in the next one.